In this video, I'll be going over how this 36 by 18 by 36 polydarium operates. I'll also add a full do-it-yourself build video located in the top right link now. Here's the entrance point to my internal air duct covered by screen mesh. The air duct helps with circulation inside the polydarium powered by 40 millimeter fans. This is the skeleton of the air duct before I put great stuff, pork bark, and everything else all over the top. This is the left exit point for air to flow out of. And here's the right. It's important to note I normally would not fill up the polydarium with this much fog. I'm just doing so, so you can see the air circulating with the fans. I also sped up the video. Now for the right side waterfall. Going around to the side to see a better look at our back chamber. This is where all the water is pulled up through the pumps. This is the mini pump for the right side waterfall. The water just travels up this hose and dumps out of this PVC 90 degree elbow. Now for the main left side waterfall, using XPS board, spray foaming it all together. Carved it out to my liking, then use the heat gun and dry lock to seal it all into place. At the top of my waterfall, I created a swing arm so I can adjust which way the water flow would go. I can point it to the right, the center, and the left. Then just dry locked it all in. The water flows down from the top of the waterfall into the water section. The water portion holds just over 16 gallons. The water and land section is separated with corrugated plastic that I siliconed into place. The water flows through the screen into the back chamber, which is then sucked up through the input tube to my exterior canister filter. It goes through the filtration process. runs through an exterior water heater. I have since turned down the temperature. The water dumps out at the top left waterfall, creating a perfect circulation throughout the whole polydarium. Added some feeding stations up high so they were out of sight. Added lots of hides in the hardscape background for the inhabitants to feel safe and secure. Hooked up a Miss King system. Siliconed in some glass to the custom lid frames. This is a pretty cool company that I found online. It has vents that are fruit fly proof, holes for your Miss King, and plugs to put for the ones that aren't being used. Now for the fogger system. Used half inch PVC pipe and spray painted it black. and installed half-inch bulkheads. For the lighting, I use Fluvale Plant and Fluvale Aquasky. It's all controlled via Bluetooth right from your smartphone. 
The Aqua Sky has a lot of different colors and effects. Here's one. Added some tubing for my bulkheads for the water overflow. The water overflow tubing is hooked up to all the tanks on this rack. I created a P-trap with 90 degree barbed elbows. A shutoff valve if ever needed and then it dumps right into my sump pump for no maintenance. And some powder orange isopods and springtails for a cleanup crew. Like and subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to check out the full do-it-yourself build video in the description below.